Hey, what's good guys? In this video, I'll be reviewing the DJI Wireless Microphone, a product that I recently purchased from DJI. I'll be taking you through my experiences with this microphone, from the setup process to its performance in various environments. If you're in the market for a new wireless microphone, make sure to stick around until the end of the video for my final thoughts and recommendation. Alright guys, let's get started. guys so i'm really excited because i just got my hands on this new dji wireless microphone system it's been out for a while but i'm just now getting my set and let's get straight into it so first things first we got to peel off this plastic and let's get inside let's see what we, well more plastic of course all right so let's see what we got first you know this little box here is tossed to the side oh what do we have nice little sleek and sturdy black charging case with two transmitters and one receiver nice already charged we got some battery working here so we can jump straight into that and testing it out uh looks like that's it far as much in the box so let's go ahead and grab this little smaller box over here and see what we have inside here looks like a nice little traveling pouch or carrying pouch nice we got a nice little audio adapter 3.5 millimeter and we have a charging cable, okay, and two windscreens for our microphone. And we can just stick all that back into our carrying pouch, which is very handy and convenient when we're traveling. Yeah, so this is what comes inside the pack. Now we can jump straight into it and start testing it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the charging case open. We have a receiver in the middle and we have a microphone on the left and on the right of the receiver. The lights are blinking indicating that they are charged here's microphone one nice small and sleek and we have microphone two nice small and sleek i love it nice and portable as you can see we can pull out the receiver the little clip there on the left is actually a hot shoe adapter if you want to adapt that to one of your cameras all right slide that right back inside there in the back, we have these audio adapters, one being for a Type-C, which would be for an Android phone, and the other one will be a Lightning adapter, which would be for an iPhone. And these will basically attach to your receiver before you start recording your audio. All right, next, so we're gonna Check out this receiver as you can see right now we're going to add this hot shoe adapter to the bottom of this so we can attach it to our mirrorless camera as you can see right here and what you will do is slide this on top now there's many ways we can record we can record off of the camera or directly off of our shirt but we're going to demonstrate the camera first there we go nice snug fit make sure it's on there tight and now what we want to do is take our 3.5 millimeter adapter and we want to plug it into the receiver and into the side of the camera so we can make sure the audio is being transmitted to the camera. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to power these two on uh, the receiver and the microphone so we can pair these up the first go around. Well, that's what it's telling me to do in the instructions. So, um, this is uh, my first attempt to try to pair these two devices. It says it's supposed to hold it down for like two seconds. And of course, you got to go through the whole, you know, select your language, whether you're English, and set the time and date. You know, the whole spiel you have to do with every device. And as you can see, the audio levels are moving up and down as I'm speaking on the microphone. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to take one of the microphones and attach it to your shirt. There's two different ways you can do this. You got the microphone on the outside or on the inside. Here you can see the magnetic piece of metal attached to the back of the microphone. We're gonna just peel that off. And for this, I'm gonna show you how to do it from the inside. So you stick the mic on the inside and you find that metal piece and you just attach it as such. And there you go, simple as that, easy connection. Now we're gonna do it for the opposite side and we're just gonna do a clip on and clip it to the top of the shirt. Multiple ways you could do it. You could have it with the 
windscreen on or you can have it with the windscreen off as you can see and we're just going to test out this audio but testing 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 go turn down Naruto testing out the <laughs> mic let me go cut Naruto off <laughs> I'm now walking back to the camera, just doing a little test to see how the audio sounds. And it should be interesting. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, testing. As you can see, this is how the audio sounds with the camera on, with the microphone on. And yeah, how, do you, how, does, how does it sound, guys? Hopefully it's recording, I think it's recording. All right, so now I see the red button on, so it should be recording now. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so this is the sound with the audio clip with it connected to the top of the camera. This is how it sounds. Let me know how you, well, eventually I'm gonna have to play it back, but this is the sound that we're getting right now off of this microphone right here. Let me make sure I get my, my focus on, there we go. Yeah, so this is the DJI mic. All right, and this is just a test audio to hear how it sounds. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the receiver to the iPhone, which is attached to my DJI Ohm 6, and we're gonna take it outside to give it a test try. What I'm doing, what I'm trying to do right now is remove the lightning adapter from the back. Excuse me, no, what I'm trying to do is remove the hot shoe adapter from the back, which I just had attached to the camera, so we can now attach the lightning adapter as you can see right here that's what the little the little uh nidget is the little the little slot on the back of the receiver that's what it's for to remove the hot shoe adapter so you can replace it with either the lightning adapter or the type c and since i have an iphone that i'm shooting with today i'm going to attach the lightning adapter as you can see right now and we're going to attach it to the bottom of the iphone that way we'll be able to transfer the audio from the microphone that's on me to the receiver directly to the phone. And as you can see by the notification, it's saying, uh, do you want to accept this lightning adapter? And you want to go ahead and accept that. And there you go. And the microphone is back on and this is the audio quality sound that we're getting right now. So this is my, this will be my go-to when I'm out uh, shooting and filming um, in public, doing my behind the scenes, also probably in the studio. That way I'll have to, you know, get my desktop microphone and bring it out of one of my rooms into another room where I'll be shooting at, where I have my backdrop set up at. But this is a, I used to do a lavalier, but the lavalier wasn't giving me the type of sound that I wanted. So everyone's been raving about this DJI mic. So. I had to get it and test it out. I actually got two of them. So if I want to do interviews, that will come in handy. So we're about to go back inside right now. And uh, yeah, compare the audio, but I'm excited. So I hope you guys can hear a difference in the quality of the sound. And I'm excited because with the DJI Osmo 6, I can connect this to this and I don't have to worry about wind blowing. I remember when I was in New York, I could barely get like a, a good clean sound because you hear cars passing, people talking, and it's different when you're using, uh, I think at the time I was using a DJ, uh, a road mic, a road mic on top of it, but it really wasn't like blocking out the sound that I wanted. And they were telling me I was gonna have to spend like a hundred something, 200 bucks for another road mic just to get the type of quality sound I want. So I was like, well, I might as well just get a wireless setup like this right here, which is more beneficial and I could keep it charged. So, um, and you can hot shoot it to the top of your camera, which is awesome. So not only can I hot shoot this to the top of my camera, I can actually disconnect it off of my camera and clip it onto my shirt on the outside and inside of my shirt. Also what's good about this also, if I'm shooting films or short films or skits, this will come in handy for quality sound. It was AI technology out right now with Adobe Podcast. I can clean up the sound or I could just take it in Adobe Edition to clean up the sound also. So it's a game changer.
So let's go inside and see, uh, check out the quality of the sound. Yeah, so this is pretty awesome. Um, I still have it connected right here, as you can see. Push this down. You should have the front, the front camera on. You can see the levels moving on the actual uh, receiver right there. <clears throat> and this is the camera lens I'm using right now to film and the microphone, but you can see the levels here. And I'm sure once you add the second camera, it'll actually be up there. You can see the second level uh, moving up and down. You have the battery indicators on here, which is awesome. And you have your, your audio jack for hearing, I guess you can hear. So I can probably plug some headphones into this if I want to hear how it sounds. And there's an audio out, which goes to the side of your DSLR or your um, your mirrorless camera or whatever device you're using. And your power button right here and your USB uh, spot for charging right there. And all the, all the charging will be done right inside the station right here. There's a second mic. So yeah, this is a, a game changer for me, I must say. Seeing as much um, vlogging and content I do as far as in creating, I think this will come in handy for sure. So look forward to more reviews and we'll move on from there. And that concludes my review of the DJI Mic wireless microphone. Overall, I was really impressed with the performance and features of this product. It made recording audio so much easier and much efficient, especially when I was out and about. So if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more content like this, make sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube for more tech-related reviews and tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or reach me out on any of my social media platforms. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.